Hi YouTube, welcome to Pagan Perspective. This is Thursday. I am your host, Megan, aka Sabirisri. So today we are talking all about, is it okays? Uh, if you've been watching any other videos from this week, you will see that the hosts are talking about those, is it okay to blah, blah, blah. The things that they've heard kind of going through their practice and going through their life and what we think about them. So disclaimer for this, this is my personal opinion, my personal pagan perspective. This is in no way to say that it's everybody or is necessarily true for you or anything like that. It's just my personal opinion on these, is it okays? So the first one I'm actually gonna touch on because it was the topic last week and I was unable, I was not feeling well, so I was unable to post a video. So I thought I would kind of combine them a little bit. And the first one is, is it okay to self-dedicate uh, and do your own initiation? My personal take, yes, absolutely. I think that it's really awesome, actually. I think that self-dedication is a wonderful tool in your practice. And I actually believe in rededications as well. I think when you rededicate, especially if you've been going through a lot of change in your life and a lot of things have been going on, sometimes rededicating yourself can be super cleansing and fulfilling and affirming. So for me, anything that you do in your practice that helps you make your practice more personal, more spiritual, and deepens it is a good thing. So that's my take on that one. So let's see here. The next one I had was something I hear a lot. In fact, I hear it probably more than I hear a lot of the other ones. And that is, is it okay to substitute items in ritual or spells. So when you're reading books or you're online, a lot of times you will see rituals laid out for you and spell work laid out for you. Those are great. They give you a framework. It's excellent for those starting out or people who are learning without any sort of mentor. They're learning purely by literature. And those templates are wonderful. However, sometimes it does make you feel like you have to have that, you know, rare albino owl, owl feather or something like that. You know, it makes it seem like you have to have these very specific things or nothing will go right. Again, disclaimer, this is my personal opinion. I'm sure other people would have some of their own. It doesn't matter. Yes, it is okay to substitute materials because materials are really just a tangible object that is representing something in your ritual, okay? Now, is it a good idea to have a flame represent water in your ritual? Probably not because you're talking about an actual element at that point. You're talking about actual fire trying to represent water. So it might work against you in the ritual, right? But if you want to have a crayon drawing of water, you know, try to have it in maybe some blue colors, but that crayon drawing is just as powerful as having water, fresh spring water, for example. So the point is, is that as long as it's a representation of what you are trying to achieve in that ritual, then that's fine. It doesn't need to be these super uber specific things. Also, it's okay to omit things in ritual. So one thing that I see a lot is people thinking that they have to do things in very, very particular ways, in very, very particular orders. And what I like to say is in particular ritual itself, Remember, ritual is essentially like a pagan's church. It is our way of celebrating our religion, our spirituality, our practice, right? And so it's there's not really this right or wrong way to do it. Now, I don't recommend going around sacrificing things. In fact, I think that would probably be one of the things I would say would be wrong. Um, I guess that's your definition of sacrifice. I mean, if your sacrifice is a dandelion, 
you know, or a piece of lavender, then sure, <laughs> that's an okay sacrifice. Um, other sacrifices, no, bad, don't do that. So when I'm talking about though substitutions, what I'm talking about are things like a crayon drawing of water versus the natural spring water, right? Or if you only have white candles and it says that you need to have a purple and a pink and a blue, just use whatever candle you have. I've used Yankee Candle and Bath and Body Works before and they work just fine. <laughs> Those are the candles I had available. <laughs> so don't worry too much about it, okay? Then the next one kind of goes along with that and that is, is it okay to do a spell or ritual at a different time, alignment, direction, etc.? all of those things. I mean, sometimes they get really specific about when you have to do things. <sighs> Use your best judgment, okay? There are certain things, yes. I do recommend try, if, if you're going to be facing a direction in your ritual, try to make sure you know at least the general area of that direction before you start talking to that direction, <laughs> just try. But again, it doesn't have to be specific. You don't need to be spot on north and perfect. I think that's the biggest thing is really when this all comes down to it is the is it okay is really people saying, is it okay to not be perfect? And yes, it's okay to not be perfect. We're humans. We're not perfect. It's just the way it is. And the ritual will still be beautiful. The spell will still be beautiful. Even if you don't have the black obsidian, you know, etched chalice. Okay. Trust me, that is something <laughs> I actually own one <laughs> and I own it because I thought I needed it at one point. You know, it, especially as teenagers, we think, you know, we have to have some things. And as I grew and, and I learned more, I realized, wow, all I need honestly, is myself and some space. That's it. It's all I really need. And all the accoutrements that go with it can be nice. And they absolutely can help direct energy and they can help you visualize and they can help bolster a ritual or a spell and things like that. But really what it is, is it's coming from you. So remember that. So it's all within you and give yourself a break. Make a crayon drawing to represent something if you need to, okay? It's, it's okay and you are okay. So that's pretty much it for this week, guys. I hope that you have a wonderful weekend and rest of your week. As always, blessed be and aloha. Bye.